In 2008, AB2 was destroyed in a crash shortly after takeoff, though the crew ejected safely. The Anderson Air Force Base B-2 accident was a February 2008 incident when the Spirit of Kansas, a United States Air Force Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit stealth strategic bomber, crashed on the runway shortly after takeoff from Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. The incident marks the first operational loss of a B-2 bomber. Both crew members successfully ejected, but the aircraft was destroyed. With an estimated loss of US$1.4 billion, United States, it was the most expensive aircraft crash in history. On 23 February 2008, AB-2 crashed on the runway shortly after takeoff from Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. The crash of the Spirit of Kansas, 890127, which had been operated by the 393rd Bomb Squadron, 509th Bomb Wing, Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri, and which had logged 5,100 flight hours, was the first ever crash of AB-2. The two officer crew attempted to save the bomber, but as one of its wingtips began to hook the ground, they ejected from the aircraft and survived the crash. The aircraft was destroyed, a total loss estimated at US$1.4 billion. A number of upgrade packages have been applied to the B-2. On 29 December 2008, Air Force officials awarded a US$468 million contract to Northrop Grumman to modernize the B-2 fleet's radars. In March 2012, the Pentagon announced that a $2 billion, 10-year-long modernization of the B-2 fleet was to begin. The B-2 Spirit was developed to take over the USAF's vital penetration missions, able to travel deep into enemy territory to deploy ordnance which could include nuclear weapons. According to the Air Force Times, which is a private industry magazine, no munitions were on board. The Air Combat Command Accident Board report states that classified material had been loaded onto the bomber the morning the aircraft was returning to Whiteman Air Force Base, after a four-month deployment in support of Pacific Air Force's continuous bomber presence. At Guam Naval Hospital, one pilot was evaluated and released, and the second was hospitalized. AB-2 already in the air was called back to Anderson following the crash, where it and the other B-2s were grounded until an initial investigation into the crash was complete. General Garrett Harrensack followed up on the incident by temporarily suspending flying operations for all 20 remaining B-2s to review procedures. Harrensack termed the suspension a safety pause and stated that the B-2s would resume flying if called upon for immediate operations. The B-2 fleet returned to flight status on 15 April 2008. In 2008, many of the 136 standalone distributed computers on board the B-2, including the primary flight management computer, were being replaced by a single integrated system. In addition to periodic software upgrades and the introduction of new radar absorbent materials across the fleet, the B-2 has had several major upgrades to its avionics and combat systems. Due to the B-2's composite structure, it is required to stay 40 miles away from thunderstorms to avoid static discharge and lightning strikes. The findings of the investigation stated that the B-2 crashed after heavy, lashing rains caused moisture to enter skin flush air data sensors. The data from the sensors are used to calculate numerous factors including airspeed and altitude. Because three pressure transducers failed to function, not attributable to maintenance error, due to condensation inside devices, the flight control computers calculated an accurate aircraft angle of attack and airspeed. Incorrect airspeed data on cockpit displays led to the aircraft rotating at 12 knots slower than indicated. After the wheels lifted from the runway, which caused the flight control system to switch to different control laws, the erroneously sensed negative angle of attack caused the computers to inject a sudden, 1.6 grams, uncommanded 30-degree pitch-up maneuver. The combination of slow lift-off speed and the extreme angle of attack, with attendant drag, resulted in an unrecoverable stall, yaw, and descent. Both crew members successfully ejected from the aircraft soon after the left-wing tip started to gouge the ground alongside the runway. The aircraft hit the ground, tumbled, and burned after its fuel ignited. At the time of the accident the USAF had no training to deal with tailpipe fires on the B-2s. No operational B-2s have been retired by the Air Force to be put on display. The display airframe is marked to resemble Spirit of Ohio, the B-2 used to test the design's ability to withstand extreme heat and cold.